What's going on guys, it's your boy Ethos here today. I am bringing you a new aim tutorial video. Hey, what's going on guys, Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. I feel like a lot of people don't understand why they even have this problem. All right, I feel like most people don't actually know that they have this problem, but do, and it's like bad. And a lot of people think that the reason why they aren't shooting back is because it's their aim. But I'm here to tell you that your aim doesn't suck, it's your movement that sucks. Let's get into what I mean. Have you ever noticed like, you know, sometimes like you'll just like be like moving or peeking and then like you see a guy and then you just shoot and like the first few bullets don't connect, right? Like if you miss the first few bullets of your of your vandal, it's gonna go everywhere and you're just gonna feel like you have a bad aim even if you're like dead on him, if you're moving like even a little bit, okay? I mean, this is just very basic, but Valorant is a game where you have to be, in theory, fully still to be fully accurate and shoot someone, you know? Like if you're moving, then good luck hitting much, okay? Like even like, even shift walking, it's pretty bad, okay? So like, you do not want to be moving when you're shooting. And if you are moving when you're shooting, it's not even the fact that you're inaccurate, but once you stop moving and you already started shooting, the recoil and the spread is already going to be kicking in that your gun's already going to be inaccurate anyways, okay? That's why it's very important in this game to teach yourself to build the habits to always be stopped when you're shooting and honestly like i see it in like plat games even sometimes diamond games or gold or whatever below i actually honestly even in mortal rating some people in rating could even still benefit from this right they'll literally just whiff a shot and they're like oh my god my aim is so bad i can't believe if i whiffed that but i'll see them just thinking like dude that wasn't even your aim it was just your movement at that point okay there's two ways that bad movement can mess you up all right the first way is that obviously you're moving too much right you're trying to play the vandal like it's a like a specter or you're like you know doing this you're shift walking or, or even crouching like you know cr like crab walk spraying or, or whatever you know you'll be moving a little bit too much every time you see someone you panic you move blah blah it's very common it's very common nothing to be ashamed of or, or whatever right you're just you're just moving a little bit too much and the second way is that you're not moving enough okay because movement is also very broken in this game if you're just constantly standing still and just shooting people then you're also a very easy target for people to kill so sometimes you'll just die instantly because you're just standing there or sitting there and it'll be a free kill for the enemy team you're like damn i ain't having a chance to get a couple shots off well Probably because you were just sitting there crouched or whatever just constantly just dying all right the third way the more advanced way is like if your movement sucks it also just closes a lot of doors for you in aim duels right for example this is kind of like why i say that crouching isn't very good uh, as a habit when you shoot someone because if you're constantly crouching that means that you only have two options in this fight now right there's only two options if you if you crouch and start spraying at an enemy is either one you kill him right then and there or two you die that's it there is no there is no other option at that point right you can't you can't jiggle you're just committed to this spot also again you're just a very easy target for anyone who knows how to aim and move correctly so i would recommend if crouching is an issue unbind crouch just for training purposes in actual game settings and actual ranked you can rebound it if you want but for building the habit of taking fights without the crouch button i'll take it off for the range and deathmatch. okay just go to your settings and let's just unbind crouch just like that boom no more crouch enabled okay so even when, when you do try to crouch to slow yourself down naturally you can't so there's no more relying on crouch to make yourself more accurate okay this is how you deal if you are moving a little bit too much okay if you're moving a little bit too much literally just practice just moving from left to right stopping and then just like a couple times you know and like just Like you don't have to worry about counter strafing, pressing D. Uh, if you go, if you press A, you don't have to worry about pressing D or anything. Just focus on just moving, coming to a complete stop, and then shooting a couple of targets. This is very basic. Just and you can get faster with it as well. What you're trying to minimize right now is the time between after you fully come to a stop and you shoot your first bullet, okay? Right now, it's okay if that time frame is big, if that gap is big, because you're just learning, you're just practicing it for now. So feel free to just stop and then like, okay, I'm for sure stopped, right? I'm, you go and you stop, okay, I'm for sure stopped. Go, stop, for sure stopped. Now you take your shots. Once you get the hang of it, you can start speeding up a little bit where you just,
where you just start shooting right after you stop okay but just right now just practice that okay just practice every time you're moving because i know you're a guy that likes to move a lot just making sure that if you're moving a lot you stop fully then you take your shots okay all right, so I'm just gonna like just tell you the different things you should warm up with and just to improve and it'll just solve numbers two and three. Because if you're just constantly standing still, you're just a free target. If you're constantly crouching when you spray, you're still just a free target. So try practicing this, okay? First come to a wall and just, this is where we actually practice counter strafing. So what you wanna do is you wanna shoot two bullets, move to the right, stop and tap A. You know, I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a little bit of difference. Shoot again after you stop. Move, stop, shoot, 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 move, stop, shoot. And just do this against the wall. And if you ever mess up, you'll see a bullet fly like that when you're moving. So make sure you just, you have these two holes and this just keep getting darker. It's okay if you guys take it slow at first, you know, you're learning, it's okay. And over time with anything, you just start speeding up and you just start shooting right in that gap. Where you just, where you just fully still in between these two AD AD, okay? And this is how a lot of people aim, like Cryo Cells, uh, Yaster, my teammate Alexander, uh, Rara. Like a lot of people aim like this, where they just are constantly just using their movement to aim, and they're just constantly AD ADing, using their movement to win these aim duels, right? You don't always need to just rely on purely just aim. Uh, using your movement can honestly save you save you some seconds in your life because if you come here and you want to spray and you want to uh crouch you're committing to that fight and you're gonna either kill this guy where you're standing right here or you're gonna die standing right there there's no there's no other option but if you take this fight and then you move back this guy is now shooting a person who's ad ading and they're gonna have to try and spray you and if they spray you chances are you're winning that fight because you start here you start fighting instead of you start spraying he starts spraying here you move to the right now this guy's spraying on the guy who's moving and you're probably gonna win the fight so just practice doing this for now ad ad you can speed up when you start feeling more confident this is a lot easier just try to stop on a dime and shoot the less time in between direction changes the better right there i messed up a little bit just be very confident in your ad ad while shooting in between them so that's the first step okay next step is now trying to apply this to bots so you can take it slow again you can take it slow i take it slow when i start off my day there's nothing wrong with it and again we're trying to work on our movement here okay so try to just at first start by ad ad might be a little too fast let me hold on Go down even more so you just go and you go make sure you're stopping fully uh line it up make sure your crosser is nice and smooth um i want to talk about tracking how to how to actually get better aiming while doing this versus like moving targets a little two taps too because the one tap in this game is very very inaccurate the vandal is you know whatever it's okay not very inaccurate it's just you know pretty inaccurate so you know you can just do this and just keep going back and forth you know you see how i'm trying to control the amount of shakiness in my crosshair i'm just trying to really soften it up basically i'm getting my aim adjusted to my movement right now it's not even about my aims necessarily it's more just about adjusting my aim to my movement because this is what i want to be practicing in my death matches in my real games making sure you're fully stopped when you're shooting that's totally fine and then you can start speeding up too if you want And also, if you're struggling to actually hit the targets while moving, then you can actually just practice your tracking first. Because when I talk about smooth aim, right, I'm not talking about these like huge flicks. I'm talking about like actually just, you know, having smooth aim while you move, okay? So what you can do first is obviously if your sensitivity is like too high or too low, you might struggle with this. So trying to find a good medium is always good when coming to anything. So how I like to work on just the smoothness of my mouse and just tracking in general is I either do this or I do an aim lab task, which I'll I'll show you guys later in the recording but um but yeah to work on tracking either do an aim lab task or i'll literally just do it in the range so right here what i'll do is this i'll just start off shifting just trying to just i just go left and right and i just try to keep my crosshair focused on one guy's head you know I'm too big maybe pull up my knife for a little bit of variation speed right 
or maybe pull out my rifle to make it slower again you know you just want to get your your tracking your the, the smoothing of your aim just to be nice and used to the different types of movement speeds you're going to be going okay so that's starting off slow you start going a little faster now right different speeds different speeds a sheriff just on one guy just one dude that's all that's all it takes your knife now to the fastest you can go it doesn't even have to be like perfect on his head just as long as you're keeping like in line with the uh with the target okay i mean it's good to try to keep it at head height at all times but as long as you're keeping it somewhat aligned and smooth with your target then that's totally fine and if you've gotten that down you can start moving it up and you know doing a little bit of target switching here with your uh tracking as well this is something i like to do you know i still i still do i still it's not it's not just for like noobs it's still something i do to like warm up make sure my my stuff is like crispy and like used to my movement of this game right so it's very important to just make sure you're just brushing off any rust there because you're not gonna be able to have that kind of practice playing in real games so just making sure that your aim is nice and comfy with your movement what i'll show you next is basically this okay so after i've done a lot of this you know I'll, this is probably like the biggest part of my range warm up is just like you know moving back and forth and uh doing this and you can even amp it up level and move with flicking versus just like you know taking your time with it you start actually just flicking while while adding in the 80 80. this is very like this is very much how like you know tens asana all these guys aim just very quick very very snappy micro micro adjustments which is very good they're very quick players they just instantly snap onto the head also keeps you dialed in and i like i honestly i'll always make sure i do this at least a little bit before i play a game or a tournament just because it helps get me dialed in and focused on the uh on the game i've been purposely shaking my crosshair around as well in between y'all you know, like make sure i'm just ready to flick to any head that appears within a small area next to my crosshair that's another thing you can do after that is just adding the flicks into to the 80 80 practice which is very very good oh also for the actual 80 practice itself you can do it on this wall as well just so you can get a good look at it make sure you stop on a dime If you're doing it right, it just looks something like this. There's no stray bullets or anything like that from you shooting while you're moving. And another thing I like to do here is I like to go to eliminate. You can actually do any of these, but I like I like doing this. I like going on hard, but you can do it on medium if, uh, if medium is a little easier for you, but I like doing it on hard. I just like to AD, 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 you know, just there's constantly aiding in between right so i'm just used to st like moving when i don't see him but then stopping and shooting him when i do see him so it just practices like to have that reaction so like if i'm already moving and, I, and a guy pops up on my screen i'm not gonna just start shooting before i stop moving i gotta keep remembering that i need to just stop moving when i see a guy So that's something you guys can do. Do a run of hard for you guys here. So like, you know, you can do it on hard too, whatever you're comfortable with, but just, again, just constantly moving, AD, ADing, 
when the bot's not up, but then just stopping when you see him. So that, that's something you guys can try. But yeah, anyways, let's go into deathmatch now and show you guys how you guys should be deathmatching. Remember, we unbound crouch. And this is mainly for people who have issues with crouching while they're uh, in gunfights or whatever. I'm just going to show you guys how to try to implement this into your deathmatch so you can get some aim duels moving like this, practicing your movement, and then eventually translating those habits into actual games on rank. First and foremost, right? So I've already said unbind crouch, but second off, keep your volume low. All right. This is not, you know, listen for sound and camp in corners and wait for people to peek you simulator. Okay. It's not hide and seek. You don't hide in this DM. You don't even care if you win. All right. Just play the DM. Just run around and just shoot people. Okay. It'll make everyone's lives easier. It'll, it's better practice for you. And also if more people are doing it, then you'll just get more fights and less people camping and trying to win the game. Right. Winning DM, you don't, you don't get anything. Winning DM doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you ELO. It doesn't, doesn't make you, a, you know, a, a better player than these other guys. Right. You're not a better aimer just because you beat someone in DM. Right. Like who cares if you want a DM? Just Run around and just practice what you need to practice, okay? So I already said, turn down your turn down your volume. You just want to always be moving around, dude. Even in fights, bro. Uh, just constantly moving around, never sitting in a corner. Just always making sure that every time you see someone and you're fighting someone, you're you're fully stopping, okay? You want to be fully fully stopped when you shoot someone, all right? But the way I do it, you know, every time I see someone, I take two bullets. I'll show you guys. It's just like we practice. I'll take two bullets, shoot, move. Uh, I'll take two bullets, shoot, move, stop again, shoot again, just like this, you know. That's pretty much how you're always fighting, okay? Just constantly be on your feet, constantly be moving, never hold your shift key, never press crouch, it should already be unbound anyways. Just constantly be moving and just practice your aim while moving. It'll give you more time because people will whiff on a guy who's AD ADing, okay? So just remember that you are harder to hit, especially with the way Valorant's like wired, you know, routing wise, like it's very hard to hit someone who is uh, moving back and forth. And that AD AD, like I feel like Valorant, even more than like CSGO or anything, is more movement based. You know, where CSGO, like you see a lot of like pros, a lot more people just like being able to commit to fights, couch spray, whatever. It's like that, like then uh, it's not, you know, it's not as good. Also, just make sure you're not shooting more than like three bullets at a time. Like, okay, don't be this guy. See, for example, this guy, that guy's a prime example of someone who does not stop moving. That guy uh, does, stop, does not stop moving and shooting. Like if that guy actually kept that movement, but actually stopped when he was moving or stopped shooting when he was moving, then he would have, you know, actually potentially killed me because I was whiffing. And you see how hard it was for me to kill him because he was moving back and forth like that. It's really difficult. It's a lot more difficult than you think. So just practice. Every time you see someone, just AD, AD. I don't care if you get killed a bunch of times, just AD, AD, always. No, I even recommend, like, even if you don't want to, like, shoot people, just constantly just, like, AD, AD. I'm like, look at, look at how hard it is to kill me. Look at how hard it is to kill me. It is so difficult to kill me when I'm moving back and forth. Like, look at that, man. Like, I'm not joking you. It's really difficult. It's really, di like that guy was point blank on me with the classic and he couldn't hit me, bro. Like, it's really difficult. So just always focus on your AD, AD movement. Your AD, AD movement matters more than the kills, more than the, more than the shot, more than your aim. Just make sure you're always AD, ADing. See, like here, I even care that I was whiffing. Obviously I'm gonna still try to aim for the head when I'm AD, ADing, but it's constantly just hey, look at this this is how you should how you should be dming okay it's constantly moving back and forth look at that see like how i the first shot i took i didn't stop moving i i took another step and that guy couldn't hit me just always be aware of your movement see right there like i wasn't even like that worried about my aim just just focusing on the movement and you just want to build these habits i still have, i still have stuff i can work on you know that guy was almost difficult it because he was moving 80 80 80 80 this is a tragedy my ace there it is just always want to try to aim for the head try to always be moving after every shot you take just move just constantly don't worry about don't worry about dying don't worry about missing your shot it's okay you know because what 80 80 allows you to do is to have another chance at life potentially All right after every time you take a shot you want to be just constantly moving even from standing still okay if you start standing still you know just make sure you when you do take your shot you move right after you see both those times i was standing still holding an angle i moved the second i took my two shots okay 
though it's okay to be standing still sometimes but make sure you don't just stay planted there all right we're not statues okay we're 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 floating butterflies okay or or, or something right we're just constantly moving this guy this guy even took the time to line up but he was standing still i wasn't you see who won this guy had vulnerability and everything it's constantly 80 80 you see how i went the first two shots i moved again same there right just take those two shots and then readjust just like that just like that that guy shot at where i was just standing right he would have killed me if i kept standing still like this guy just kept moving let's keep 80 80 guys I see people on tournament crouch when shooting. It's not good. It's not good. Sometimes it's a ha hard habit to break. Even people on Radiant still crouch when they shoot. I crouch when I shoot sometimes too. ADAD is one of the most important skills. Like even me, even Radiant, even pros still crouch when they spray. And I know that you can ask them and they'll say that I, I know I shouldn't have done that there. Because a lot of times it'll get them killed if they're constantly crouching and spraying. All right. Just always standing up ensures that you have the option to strafe left or right after taking those shots. But if you crouch, you can't move anymore if you move it's gonna take a lot of time you have to uncrouch and then move and you'll just be a sitting target for anyone who has good aim okay just constantly ad ad all right there's nobody can be perfect at any one thing but this is one of the skills that's one of the most important from elevating you from a good player to a great player all right that's how you that's how you go from good to advanced from diamond to radiant all right that's how you get better all right that's how, you, how cryo and yester are some of the best and those both those guys have just qualified for Copenhagen in Masters, okay? That's how they literally aim. You can literally watch them. They aim more with their movement than their actual aim itself. They're just constantly moving. They're constantly giving themselves more opportunities, more space, more flexibility. They're very fluid on, on their feet. They're just always ready to move. The second they take a shot, they just take a shot, move, take a shot, move, take a shot, move. Every single time, they're ready to move and they're never shooting when they are moving, okay? So please, I want you guys to drill this into your head. It's a lot more important than you think to just constantly move and move all right a standing target is a lot easier to hit than a guy who's going back and forth just dipping and ducking weaving bullets all right so just remember it ADAD is very very important okay and even i'm still working i'm still working on it a lot i work on this every day when i warm up i always do that that type of practice okay that's how i play dm that's how i warm up in the range that's how i warm up okay that's that's you know you guys are at that level now so you guys are at that level and that's why i'm sharing with you guys that about does it for the video on why your movement sucks and not your aim I actually like give it a serious try like i i really believe that the majority of you guys most people in valorant as well don't understand that it's not even their aim that's causing them to whiff but it's your movement okay it's literally just your movement and if you get your movement down you'll find yourself being a lot more consistent in aim duels on in just games in general and just in rounds and you'll see a big improvement in just in the success rate of you killing people right it's not even your aim most of the time sometimes if your aim is on point you just don't happen to be moving correctly okay so really guys give it a, a real try try it out let me know how it goes for you guys in the comments down below i really think i will be seeing a big increase of skill in my player base oh uh, sorry in my fan base because if you guys are watching this and you guys are applying this every day this is literally what i do this is literally my warm-up routine so if you guys do this you guys will actually get better at the game i i i assure you okay this is literally the most broken technique uh for valorant anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did make sure to hit that like button comment down below subscribe hit that bell for notifications all the time i'm also live on twitch every day probably or something but uh yeah i love you guys very very much and i will see you guys next time peace out